Hi, I'm Philip from Freedom. In this tutorial, we're gonna show you everything you need to know about charging, updating, connecting, and playing with your new Freedrum sensors. First thing you need to do is make sure your sensors are fully charged and updated with the latest firmware. Charge your sensors using the dual USB cable provided. When charging, the LED will shine red and will turn off once the charge is complete. This should take an hour or so. While your sensors are charging, download Sensorware and the Freedrum app from the iOS App Store or Google Play Store. Links in the description below. Sensorware is used to update your sensors and the Freedrum app is used to play and configure your drum kit. Once your sensors are fully charged, you'll need to make sure they have the latest firmware update. Open the Sensorware app on your iOS or Android device. Turn the Freedrum sensors on by pressing the button on the sensor once. The LED will start to pulse with a blue color, showing it's ready to connect. In Sensorware, your sensors will appear in the list. Select each sensor from the list and press Check for Sensorware Update. If your sensor has the latest firmware, it will let you know. If an update is required, select Update in the next screen. The update will take about 90 seconds and should be repeated for each of your sensors. If you experience a problem while updating a sensor, such as it gets stuck during the update or your sensor shows a solid red LED and is unresponsive, hold down on the sensor button for 11 seconds. The LED will turn off, shine red, and then shine yellow. Release your finger and the app will automatically ask if you'd like to update your sensor. Select yes. Now that your sensors are fully juiced and have the latest firmware, it's time to attach them and connect. In the box, you'll find two differently sized straps. The smaller strap is for your drumsticks and the larger strap is to be used to place the sensors on your feet if you have ordered a complete kit. To attach the sensors to your drumsticks, first slide the sensor inside the smaller strap. Then grab a drumstick, pinch the strap so that there is a space for the stick to slide inside. Make sure that your sensor is facing upright with the button closest to you when you slide it on the stick. If you've ordered a complete kit with four sensors, you can attach the two additional sensors to your feet. Take the larger strap from the packaging and slide your sensor into the small loop of the strap. Then slide your foot into the larger loop. Ensure that your sensor is facing the right direction. The button should be closest to you. Before you can start playing, you'll need to configure each sensor as a stick or foot sensor. Open the Freedom app and select the settings icon in the top left of the screen. Once in the settings screen, select Connections in the top right. Make sure all your sensors are turned on and they'll show up in the list of devices. Connect to each sensor by selecting it from the list. Once you've connected to all your sensors, close the list by tapping outside of it. You will now see all of your sensors show up in the list on the left. You can tell which sensor is which by striking the sticks in the air or tapping your feet on the ground. A red indicator will flash to tell you which sensor is being used. Select the sensors attached to your feet from the list and then select Set as Foot from the menu on the right. Repeat this for all of your foot sensors. Once you're done configuring your foot sensors, select Back in the top left of the screen. With the Freedrum app, you can customize the placement of your drums. Let's start by adding a hi-hat, snare drum and low tom to your kit. You can do so by pressing the drum icon on the top right of your screen. In this menu, you can add and configure each drum zone. On the left of the screen, you can add and remove zones. On the right of the screen, you can select what instrument you'd like to add to a zone. Hit the plus icon on the left of your screen twice to add an additional two zones to the bottom layer. To set the leftmost pad as a hi-hat, select it and tap the hi-hat icon on the right menu. Set the middle zone on the lower layer as a snare drum by following the same process and find snare in the list on the right. For the last zone on the right, select it and find Low Tom from the list. If you have foot sensors, configure the zones on your feet by tapping the lower smaller zones on the screen and select Pedal Hi-Hat for the left zone and Kick Drum for the right zone. Press the tick icon on the top right to complete the config. Before you start playing, you need to calibrate your sensors. Calibrate the sensors by holding your drumsticks straight in front of you and press the buttons once. The snare drum is now placed directly in front of you. Play it by keeping the stick straight and strike them lightly in the air. When you're playing, try to keep the sensors facing upwards towards you at all times. Play the hi-hat by turning your sticks to the left. 
you will notice the color of the LED changes when you hover above the different zones. Try to keep your drumsticks facing towards the same direction when playing the same zone. Avoid pointing your elbows outward, causing the sticks to face different angles as you will play different drums by doing so. Play the low tom by turning both of your sticks towards the right. You'll notice the app shows a ring around the low tom once you're hovering above it. If you feel the drums are not where they should be, point both sticks in front of you and recalibrate the sensors by pressing the buttons once. To play the kick drum, tap your foot while keeping your heel on the floor. To open and close the hi-hat, turn your foot towards the left and lift it above the ground, keeping your heel on the floor. Now you can create your first beat with free drum. To play the hi-hat and the snare at the same time, turn one stick to the left for the hi-hat while keeping the other stick straight for the snare. When you feel comfortable, you can add zones to the upper layer. In the drum kit config menu, add two more zones to the top layer by pressing the upper plus button twice. Select the top left zone and set it as a ride symbol. Then select the middle top zone and set it as a high tom. Lastly, select the top right zone and set it as a crash symbol. Select the tick icon when you're done. With Freedom, you can play zones on a lower and upper layer. This can be done by striking the stick at a higher or lower angle. This applies to all the upper and lower zones around the drum kit. You're now ready to play a six piece kit. Take some time to feel comfortable around it. On some of the drums and cymbals, you can twist the drumstick to create a secondary sound, such as hitting the bell on the ride cymbal, opening the hi-hat, or hitting a rim shot on the snare. If you feel lost, try to remove the drums from the top layer or even reduce all the drums to only a couple so that you can get the hang of it. You can delete a drum by selecting it in the drum kit config menu and tap the trash icon on the left. If you're feeling more adventurous, you can add up to 10 zones in the app. Please note that you cannot have duplicates of the same drum or cymbal in your kit. We really hope that you enjoy Freedom and please get in touch with us if you have any questions.